Over the last four decades, the countries that comprise the Eastern and Central African regions have witnessed sustained economic growth in all the key sectors of their economies. This growth has been made possible by the availability of petroleum products required to drive the operations in these sectors. Before the construction of the multi-product oil pipeline from Mombasa to the hinterland, oil shipping vessels docked at the port of Mombasa to discharge petroleum products for conveyance to Nairobi and other landlocked countries in Eastern and Central Africa region. The delivery of these products to the hinterland depended on road transportation, a mode of transport that is most unreliable, inefficient and above all, caused heavy damage to the country's road infrastructure. The establishment of a more economical mode of transporting petroleum products from the port of Mombasa was therefore inevitable. The Kenya Pipeline Company KPC Limited was therefore incorporated as a state corporation in 1973 with a mandate to provide efficient, reliable, safe and cost-effective means of transporting storing and distributing refined petroleum products from Mombasa to the hinterland. Our mission is to efficiently receive, uh, store, transport and deliver petroleum products, refined petroleum products to our customers and also provide uh, related services to our customers. But of course, in line with uh, international standards, and we try to exceed our customers' expectations and through continuous uh, innovation to optimize value. Ever since then, the Kenya Pipeline Company has continued to transport, store and deliver petroleum products to the oil marketing companies. KPC only makes its money through transportation and storage. So KPC does not own the product. The refined petroleum products handled by KPC include Motor Spirit Premium MSP, Motor Spirit Regular MSR, Automotive Gas Oil Diesel, Illuminating Kerosene, and Jet A1 Aviation Turbine Fuel. To meet the industry needs in the region, Kenya Pipeline Company boasts of a total storage capacity of 612,000. 332 cubic meters in five depots located at Mombasa, Nairobi, Nakuru, Eldoret, and Kisumu. Two other depots designated for Jet A1 fuel are conveniently located next to Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi and at Moi International Airport in Mombasa. We have uh, eight pump stations. So with the help of those pumps, we are able to transport product all the way from Mombasa. In order to guarantee quality, the Kenya Pipeline Company has its own quality control laboratories. This ensures that the petroleum products offloaded from shipping vessels are tested. The investment in well-equipped laboratories backed by highly qualified staff has enabled the Kenya Pipeline Company to deliver petroleum products with similar specifications as indicated in the Certificate of Quality from the origin of the product's refinery. We are proud to be the first people who look at quality of the product that is coming into the country. We test before it is received, we test well in the system, and we test before we release and issue a certificate of quality showing that the product meets the national specification for the grade that it is. Because each of the grades has got the national standards that specifies the quality parameters for the grade. And therefore we ensure that the, 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 those specifications are met before the product is released into the market. 
with a total pipeline network of 1,224.45 kilometers, the Kenya Pipeline now serves Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, Northern Tanzania, Burundi, and Southern Sudan. In order to meet the ever-increasing demand for refined petroleum products in the country and the region, KPC had to undertake certain capacity enhancement projects. This is what made it important for us to upgrade the line by laying a new 14-inch diameter pipeline from Nairobi to Eldoret. The pump stations along the Western Kenya Pipeline are Nairobi PS21, Ngema PS22, Morendat PS23, and Nakuru PS24. To facilitate loading and transportation of petroleum products through the lake, the company plans to construct an oil jetty in Kisumu to fast track the transportation of the products to the neighboring countries. Maintaining the integrity of the pipeline is one of the operational activities of the engineering department of the company. Scheduled cleaning of the pipeline is done to clear debris, scales and sludge. At first you do the cleaning and then after that you put in some other pig, the caliper pig to just determine that uh, the intelligent pig will be able to pass. The purpose of that pig is to gather information about the pipeline, the various points on the pipeline. Uh, when the data is removed, we'll be able to know which sections of the pipeline require repairs, which sections are good, and what kind of repairs uh, we are required to do. For surveillance of the pipeline, the company uses a helicopter which enhances security of the line and comes in handy in the event of an emergency. The operations of the pipeline are centrally controlled and monitored on a 24-hour basis from the Nairobi Terminal Depot. This is done through remote control using a supervisory control and data acquisition system SCADA. With this system, Kenya Pipeline Company is able to monitor the entire pipeline. And with the acquisition of the system's application program SAP, the OMCs are able to know their stocks at the touch of a button. All Kenya Pipeline Company depots are fitted with self-sustaining firefighting equipment and appliances. The staff is adequately trained in basic firefighting techniques to prevent and extinguish fires should they occur. The Kenya Pipeline Company is ISO 9001-2008 certified, the highest achievement for any organization that is customer focused. The system has been designed to international standards to take care of uh, uh, the risks that are inherent in a petroleum installation. Once in a year we do a statutory environmental audit which, in which we bring outsiders who have been authorized by NEMA to come and look at our system, evaluate uh, the operating conditions and any impacts it could have caused onto the environment, and also advise us on uh, mitigation measures that are necessary. As a policy, training and retraining of personnel in the industry's changing technologies and working environments is given top priority. Uh, we participate in the organization uh, not just to get people in and out, but ensure that they have the right capacity, uh, they have the right skills uh, to be able to do the jobs that they are brought in for and where the company can help to support them to grow. As a divesture, the company opened the Morendat Training and Conference Center, an ultra-modern complex located 20 kilometers from Naivasha town. This is a facility in a prime tourist location that the company uses for training, conferencing, seminars, and workshops. The Kenya Pipeline Company is actively involved in community development initiatives in the country as part of its corporate social responsibility program. Our CSR policy is anchored on five thematic areas, namely water, 
education, health, sports and environment. We give a lot of priority to communities living along the right of way because these are the people who actually secure the pipeline for us. Senendat Water Project in Nakuru County has meant women spending more time on productive activities on their farms and children getting more time for school instead of looking for water. Tunashukuru sana kampuni ya pipeline. Tunawaambia Mungu awabariki. Musidi kufanya hiyo kazi. In the county of Machakos, Kiundwani Water Project has changed the lives of the community living around the right of way. Tulikuwa tunaenda kuchota maji kwa ile mlima iko pale. Na mtu alikuwa anaenda wakati huo kuko na bicycle kama saa hii. Mtu alikuwa anaenda na mguu, anabeba na kichwa, analeta mtungi moja tu. Kwa hivyo tunaona ni nzuri ni vizuri sana file pipeline ilikuja hapa inatusaidia sana. The equipping of Meritini Secondary School Laboratory now means the students now have a well-equipped laboratory that has greatly improved their performance in science subjects. The company is also proud, sponsoring 32 needy students from the Mukuru slums who performed well in their Kenya Certificate of Primary Education but could not afford fees to go to high school. Many of them, and I'm sure you can hear it from themselves, would be just in the villages getting into all kinds of trouble were it not for the help of donors like Kenya Pipeline. If it was not for them, I could love a miserable guy in the street maybe. I don't figure out a future if this help didn't come my way because KPC is really sort of like my saviour. I don't know where I would be right now. The Kenya Pipeline Company endeavors to be the most modern and efficient company in the oil and gas industry in Africa. We now already have completed one of the Vision 2030 projects that is a parallel line from Nairobi to Eldoret, 14-inch pipeline, which is already operational and is due to be launched any time from now. There is no doubt, therefore, that Kenya Pipeline continues to play a critical role in the country's economic and social development through shared core values of integrity, transparency, accountability, diligence, team spirit, loyalty, care for the environment. As one of the key implementing agencies of Kenya Vision 2030, Kenya Pipeline Company also endeavors to be the most modern and efficient company in the oil and gas industry in Africa.